Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we love pop culture. Today, we're gonna look back at a movie that has made many people's worst movie ever made list. But is this movie truly a rotten egg? Well, let's get on with my movie look back review of Howard the Duck, released back in 1986. The movie stars Leah Thompson as Beverly Switzler, a gal who plays Howard the Duck, Chip Zane, who does the voice of Howard the Duck, Jeffrey Jones as Dr. Walter Jennings, Tim Robbins as Phil Blumbert, and was directed by Willard Hoyk. Now Howard had just got home from a hard day at work and was really just trying to have a relaxing night at home. And that's when he gets quite the shock as he's catapulted from his home world to planet Earth. Specifically, he lands in Cleveland, Ohio. Now, how will Howard get home and what gates has this portal open? Well, that's where the craziness begins. Now, fresh off her role as Lorraine from Back to the Future, we're gonna get to see Leah Thompson play the role of Beverly, a struggling rock singer in an all-female group known as Cherry Bomb. Now, one night after finishing up a show, she's walking home through a dark alley, and that's when she's met by some very unfriendly fans, but thankfully, the master of Quack Fu is there to save the day. Now the movie makers make it apparent from the opening scene to when Howard is brought back to Beverly's apartment that Howard's world is very much like ours. He speaks the same language, they use very similar currency, he has some naughty magazines, and he enjoys an ice cold beer after a rough day. Now Beverly has a scientist friend named Phil who she believes will be Howard's best hope at getting him back home. But when we meet Phil, he's more quackers than anybody else in this movie. Not only is he low on the totem pole at his job, but he's just so weird and so bizarre that he actually tries to speak to Howard like he was Donald Duck. Now, I remember the first time I ever watched Howard the Duck. It was a rental from Blockbuster Video, and my parents probably, like many others, thought this movie was totally appropriate for me, with the cute little duck on the cover, and of course, the PG rating. However, that rating is very misleading, from the opening credits with, let's say, ducky boobies, to the somewhat, actually, very uncomfortable scene between Howard and Beverly. This is not for the kids, so if you are parents and you did watch Howard the Duck, back in the day, it might be best to put the kids to bed when you watch this one. Now, while Phil wasn't much hope, he does introduce Howard to Dr. Walter Jenny, who just happens to be working on the experiment that he believes brought Howard to Earth. And he has a very simple solution that if he just reverses what he did, it should be easy to send Howard back to his home planet. Now we're only about halfway through the movie when they try to send Howard back to his home planet. So it's gonna be anything but smooth sailing for this little ducky because Jenny's experiment not only backfires, but it's gonna bring a whole new enemy down to earth. Now, during a conversation between Jennings, Howard, and Beverly, we see that Jennings has actually become possessed by the entity that came down to Earth during the backfired experiment. And this entity is actually using Jennings as a host. Oh yeah, and he no longer goes by the name of Jennings. He goes by the very original name of someone else. Now, after being heckled by some truckers at this diner, we will learn that the man now known as someone else he serves the dark overlords of the universe and Jennings has gone from scientist to a character that could be a formidable foe in any Mortal Kombat game. Now after someone else recharges his batteries, that's when he's gonna return to his laboratory to make sure the ones that serve the Dark Overlord make it to Earth properly. And that's when it's gonna be up to Howard to do everything from flying a plane to using a laser cannon to make sure that this doesn't happen. Now, just when you think things can't get any weirder, that's when we get this horribly animated CG monster for our final battle. And it will be up to Howard to ruffle its feathers to make sure that Earth is saved once and for all. 
Now, Howard had to make some sacrifices in order to save planet Earth, and one of them being the machine being destroyed that would send him back to his home planet. But it looks like things are gonna be okay for Howard as he's now taking on the manager role of Beverly's rock band, the Cherry Bombs. Now, how did things all play out? Well, we just have to use our imagination because almost 35 years later after this release, well, we never got a sequel. Now, do I recommend the movie Howard the Duck? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend this movie, but only if you can take this movie for what it is. Now, most movie critics pan this movie as one of the worst movies ever made, but I watched this movie as a youngster and I still enjoy watching this movie probably about once a year. So if you can go into this movie with a completely open mind that it is just something weird and far out there and completely cheesy, I think there's some fun to be had here. It's almost like a guilty pleasure type of movie. Now, as of this recording, Howard the Duck is streaming for free if you have a subscription to the Peacock Network. If not, it is available to rent for as little as $3.99 on various other platforms. But for me personally, I like to have this one in my collection, just in case if it ever goes away from streaming forever, I still have a physical copy. Now on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give the movie Howard the Duck a seven out of 10. Now I can completely understand if you're someone out there who absolutely hates this movie because Howard the Duck is definitely not for anybody. If I probably had watched this movie as an adult before I watched it as a kid, I'd be like, what the heck am I watching? But since I watched it as a youngster and it kind of maybe corrupted me just a little bit, I still enjoy it here as an adult. There's definitely a lot of fun and a lot of wacky fun adventures to be had here with Howard and friends. Now, have you guys ever watched the movie Howard the Duck? And if you did, what are your thoughts? Comment down below. And guys, if you like movie look back reviews like this, make sure you stay tuned in here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it, go now, do it now.